Veterans, a special edition of Local 5 News at 6. Salute to Veterans. This program is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by Wee's Family Cairo, Holy Family Memorial, One Law Group, WPS Health Insurance, Renes Group, and Window World. And now, Tom Zulaski and Michelle McCormack. Good evening and thank you for joining us for tonight's Salute to Veterans. For the next half hour, we'll pay tribute to the men and women who serve our nation. Here's what's ahead in our Salute to Veterans. We'll introduce you to the new faces of service, those who answer the call to join the armed forces. Veterans benefits, why some are unaware of their options and how local groups are stepping in to help veterans receive what was promised to them. We'll visit the Brown County Veterans Memorial for a live special ceremony honoring those who serve. And you'll see how our younger generation is making sure our Northeast Wisconsin veterans are never forgotten. We begin with what this day truly means with a history lesson. Local 5's Chris Schuler shows us how this holiday began and talks with local veterans about their service. Yep, I'm reserves. U.S. Army veteran Matt Kampanen knows much about war, having served two tours in Iraq and one in Afghanistan. I did it because it's, it, I felt it was a calling. You're doing it for something that is bigger than you. That's what Veterans Wisconsin will be doing. Fellow Army veteran Brian Fazette also knows sacrifice, serving five years as a paratrooper with the 82nd Airborne. Kind of a generational thing. My um, father had served in the military. Uh, his uncle, or his brother had served in the military. My uncle had served in the military. Uh, my grandfather was in World War II. They are just two of over 17 million veterans in the U.S. whose service and sacrifice during combat or in peacetime is remembered each year on a national holiday known as Veterans Day. Veterans Day is a day that is honored by all veterans because we um, get shown the appreciation of what we chose to do. Veterans Day began as Armistice Day to mark the end of World War I. But after World War II and the Korean War, Congress changed Armistice to Veterans to honor military from all wars. It's an important day for veterans. Air Force Any veteran Joe Orlick heads you know, the Brown County Veterans Services Office. He says unlike Memorial Day, which honors all who have died in the military, Veterans Day specifically honors all who have served in the military during both peace and war. It takes time to thank the veterans who are living, all right, to commemorate their service and to thank them for their service. Maybe you know a veteran and you buy them a cup of coffee. Uh, maybe you see them in a grocery store and say, hey, I'll, I'll pick that up for you. You know, that little encouragement can change their life. It's people know that I'm a, I'm a veteran. So Vietnam a War veteran Mike Utek you know, says Veterans Day ceremonies across the community have definitely filled a void in his life. I did not see a lot of recognition when I first came back home. So it's an honor to me to, to be recognized on, on a day. And Veterans Day is certainly a great day to do that. A day set aside to remember veterans everywhere who deserve our thanks for serving our nation. Everything you do in the military, no matter what job you have, you're putting your life at risk. In De Pere, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. And Kempinen is still serving as the state commander of the Disabled American Veterans Organization. Okay, we all know about the greatest generation, of course, those who fought in World War II in Korea. But there is a new generation of veterans coming up. We learn more about those who were called to serve in more recent times. I'll never be ashamed of the fact that I was there, and I'm certainly glad to have survived, and I'm glad that I was not mistreated when I got back. Uh, there's an old saying, once a Marine, always a Marine, so. 